Hi, friends! I am so happy you're here because I will be reading six cult horror books in this vlog. Uh, I did not film an intro <laughs> because I wasn't sure what I would be reading. Uh, so here is uh, that intro. I also watch a ton of horror cult movies and uh, yeah, I am definitely not the same I feel like because this is afterwards, like just finishing the six books and the movies and <laughs> Am I going to join a cult? No, 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 never, never. I would never. Uh, but these are the books that I ended up reading in this vlog. I ended up reading Last Days by Brian Evanson, Devil's Creek by Todd Kelsling, another book called The Last Days by Adam, The Children of Red Peak by Craig DeLuey, The Lair of the White Worm by Bram Stoker. And the last book I ended up reading was a YA book called The Cemetery Boys by Heather Brewer. Brewer. If I can talk. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoy this cult reading, horror reading vlog. Uh, it took me a while to put together. Um, the Adam Neville book is very, very long. It took me a while to read it. Uh, Devil's Creek is also pretty long, but I ended up finding the audio for free on audible so i did i did go through this one pretty quickly uh but i also wanted to fit in a little bit of halloween decor hunting in this vlog and again i do talk about some movies uh so let's go back to past katrina non-cult katrina yay <laughs> Okay, so my camera might be off a little bit. Just ignore what's going on over here. Don't know what's going on over there. Oh, uh, my first check-in. Yay, it's successful. It's a, it's a good one. Uh, so I listened to Last Days by Brian Evanson, Everson. Uh, on an auto audio book before I went into work this morning. It's a very short book uh, and it was on sale on Audible. I think it was like 280 or something. So I was like, yes, let me get it for this vlog, this cult vlog. And this is after work Katrina coming at you. So I might be more, more crazy than usual. I'm very out of it right now. Uh, and yeah, I absolutely love this. I literally walked into work listening to the author's note and I was just like a shell of a Katrina <laughs> going into work this morning. If you guys don't know the premise to this, it is about a detective who is kidnapped by a dismemberment cult because the detective uh, got his hand cut off uh, <laughs> during a detective situation, I guess. And then he, he's, he applied the heat to it, you know, um, <laughs> carterized it, and they think that's like great. But to investigate um, a crime within the dismemberment cult, um, and yeah, that's pretty much the synopsis. And you're really, you're really thrown into this, and this story does not stop one at all. It doesn't stop at all. It, it's crazy. It's like a roller coaster ride, but it's just you're just downhill. Uh, and yeah, there's like this mystery element to it. There's this weirdness. There's like this horrific, um, this horrific cult, uh, that actually reminded me of Fight Club a bit. Uh, and yeah, you, you, if you read it, you know why, I guess. Uh, but so, so good. I absolutely loved it. I liked the writing was so, so blunt and direct and it didn't hold anything back at the same time. 
and you really like the main character even though I feel like there's nothing really to him. He is just trying to deal with the cult. Um, yeah, it just, it was like a very uh, intense quick read and also made you think about <laughs> cults but also like religion uh, in a way because this is a very religious based cult. And yeah, it just was really interesting. Uh, and I was thinking about it at work a lot today. And I was like, man, I gotta wait until I get home and talk about it. Uh, but yeah, it was so good. I really liked it. I know this author has some other work. Uh, and I'm excited to read it. Uh, so five stars. I was like, I, I had a feeling I would like this one. Um, it was just fantastic. I don't think it's going to be for everybody because it is so fast it is so so fast and it does kind of just end uh and this was two novellas put together so you might realize that at one point i didn't realize that at all uh i would listen to that in the author's note but yeah if you're into cults this is a cult book that will i keep doing thumbs up i need to stop doing that uh it will make you uh not feel things for a while <laughs> after reading it uh and then I went to at home on my break because I'm psychotic and I went back to the one where that manager said hey I got a bunch of Halloween out or I will after this weekend and it's Monday and I went and I found the scaredy pumpkin the scaredy cat on the pumpkin that I didn't get last year I missed out on this which was so so sad this is this is my big item i wanted it's only 15 dollars, but this is what i wanted so so bad last year and it was sold out there were resellers selling this for 60 dollars. it is like hollow and i was just like that is so so sad uh but i got it i got it i'm just so excited it's it's been a good day i read a good book i found uh, just the best piece of Halloween decor of my life I think <laughs> so far so far this season uh, and uh, yeah I went to work all day which is not as fun as finding Halloween decor reading an awesome book uh, but yeah that is my check-in now I think let me find it oh, I think I'm gonna read start Devil's Creek um, if I'm not mistaken, mistaken, what, I, um, have the audio of this, but I think it's free on Audible right now, uh, and also with that sale on last days, I don't think it's going super long, I, you know how Audible sales are, they're like, they're low key, I only go a couple days, but if you guys follow me on Instagram, I will post that to my stories, I will post any good finds on audible to my stories um sale wise or like freebie wise uh but yeah i believe this is free right now all over there and it's huge so i'm glad we got it i mean i would read it physically but my eyeballs feel like they're fall gonna fall out of my face like my skull any moment after work that's why i don't vlog after work or read after work physically because my eyeballs they're just gonna they're gonna fall out <laughs> it feels like you know you know you know uh and then i have this fun note from todd kelsing katrina she said he's screaming katrina it's time to go to church <laughs> just terrifying actually uh and then i got um a cool little todd kelsing bookmark oh he's on this side i don't know if you guys we'll see it but yeah he's fun he's a cat person so i'm really excited to read this and yeah the book looks the physical book looks really cool too like it gets darker and i believe he said as the story goes on it's like the corruption of the town is like more tainted but yeah i saw this on a bunch of cult lists so horror cult list so i'm very very excited to read it and i'll check in later Oh 
hey uh it has only been a full day <laughs> uh it's like a day and a half maybe uh since i last checked in so i'm doing really really good because i finished devil's creek by todd kelsing just now like 20 minutes ago i finished the audio for it and uh yes i probably already talked about the audio is free on audible if you have an audible subscription um and it's of course I loved it. I, I knew I was going to love this book. I really liked Kelsling's uh, novella Scanlines a lot uh, and that takes place in the same town I believe uh, as Devil's Creek uh, but yeah holy holy shit uh, not to put a pun on the holy in this but damn Kelsling. No, what happened to you man? <laughs> like I'm worried. Um, you could tell, I mean, I don't want to assume, but I got a feeling as being like a so bad survivor, uh, Kelsling might be a so bad survivor as well. Southern Baptist survivor here. Uh, yeah, this just spoke to my soul. <laughs> this horror story. It also is cosmic horror and I would say this does not hold back on the levels of cosmic horror that it goes to. I feel like there are books that kind of hint add a little bit of cosmic here like you can't really explain it here and there but this just goes full-blown cosmic horror with the debauchery all the debauchery in it where i feel like it needs to make a comeback a little bit like i thought of suitable flesh um that movie that came out recently about the um cosmic demon that is in a woman's body for the first time and is like having a blast uh there's a lot a lot a lot of debauchery in this along with the cosmic horrors <sighs> yeah it was so good also i will show you guys some of the pages of the chapters and stuff like has a lot of the symbols and everything like i just went through and looked up the pages with the journal in it and the symbols also has a lot of not a lot of but there was a mention of an hp lovecraft location in this which i was like yes uh so yeah i really loved it i uh, look up content warnings for this though because the beginning of it does not hold anything back like the whole book doesn't hold anything back but the beginning the big bat you're thrown into what happened in 1983 um have i even talked about what this book is about it's a cult that's all you need to know but uh the big bad in this is the preacher and he is about to kill these six children to sacrifice them to a god and um he talks about the abuse that he did to these kids like it's horrible and then the kids have memories and stuff it's never like there's not a scene in it with it but just look up the content warnings if that is something that can traumatize you or re-traumatize you like because it happens like on the like in within the first 10 pages or so so uh just a heads up for that uh and yeah there's a lot in this um i do feel a little mixed though about the characters in this like there wasn't a character maybe there was like one character I was really rooting for but I wish I got a little bit more time with certain characters like there's um a DJ in this that I wish I got to spend more time with because she reminded me of Stretch from Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2 which you guys know I love and like her having a rock channel in the south and the bible belt and stuff and like getting these phone calls that are really creepy there's a really great scene with that getting like horrific phone calls just regularly because she plays rock music but then getting like the creepy calls from kids and stuff like i was just like loving it um if you guys need to know i listen to this like primarily running errands and doing adulting but also a little at work so my face was literally like this like I'm typing an email and I'm just like what <laughs> like that was my face um but yeah I don't think it's gonna be for everybody because again you don't really stick with one person for a super long time which does make the book go by fast too and also like this does look like a giant book but the text is pretty big uh and yeah so basically 
I'm going to talk about the synopsis. So you, you start out, these kids are about to be sacrificed. Um, they're saved by a, their grandma. And then it's like 30 years later, the grandma dies. And one of those kids is going back home. He's like an artist. And there's like weird stuff starts happening right away. Um, yeah, I feel like it's like you don't really even need to know what that setup is because you're thrown into it so quickly. Um, but yeah. I I really liked it but again not gonna be for everybody um for sure like people will be like that was way too long or like the cosmic stuff was stupid you know like uh I feel like cosmic horror is very niche for the most part like it is like a thing like people either like it or they hate it <laughs> so yeah I knew I was gonna love that book I knew it I knew um I just I had a feeling I had had a feeling uh, about it and what's crazy too I kept thinking about my hometown I didn't grow up in like a small hometown or anything I mean I guess it was relatively small when I was a kid uh, but now it's like part of like Nova like the DC area well it's still an hour away from DC but it's still like considered Nova uh, but because it's just gotten so big but it's called so I grew up in a town called Stafford the county that this takes place is called Stoford and I was like that sounds like Stafford <laughs> yeah so I was just like in it um I just might be a cult uh horror uh girly now I just feel like give me a cult uh I have a blast with that apparently I don't know uh but yeah I absolutely loved it uh and then I ended up going to Joe Mann's yesterday after work for a pickup order I just got some yarn uh it, but I did get some fabric as well for my kitchen I'm not, I think I'm gonna do curtains with these. I got two yards, which I think are perfect for cur like a yard, a curtain, um, because the window is pretty big. But yeah, it glows in the dark. Ah, it's very exciting stuff. Um, they had some cute fabric there, which I might get more of, because um, I was thinking, I was like, I could probably just get a couple yards of fabric, Halloween fabric to take pictures on or something for Instagram I haven't really thought of, I've never done that before uh but yeah I was so excited for this uh, fabric and I did watch a cult movie like a newer cult movie called Sacrifice I think it's from 2021 or so or um it was on Tubi with Barbara Crampton I love Barbara Crampton uh and this is I feel like it's just your typical cult movie <laughs> like you know I don't know pregnant lady cult Rosemary's baby-esque but this is like a Finnish or Norwegian town like it was very predictable and it was kind of boring I had this on in the background when I was editing my last vlog uh, but Barbara Crampton's really cool and there's a twist at the end so I did like that. I did want a little bit more of like the monster and stuff. But yeah, I think I'm giving it two stars because I was kind of bored. I wasn't like really hooked into it, which is good when you're doing something else, I guess. Uh, but yeah, I hope I can watch another cult movie. And the next book I want to read, which is on Kindle Unlimited, is Last Days by Adam Neville. That's funny, there's two Last Day cult books. <laughs> <laughs> it's a yeah last days last days you know um I guess that's a popular cult uh title uh so yeah I'm excited to read this one but it is really long and I, I only have it on the kindle it's like 600 pages I think on kindle and it, this is about a documentarian is that the correct term I don't know uh going to um the locations of the last days cult from the 70s before like they ended like murder suicide whatever um yeah so i'm excited for this one i see always see this on the list which is funny because adam neville i feel like has other cult books right like small shadows and the banquet of the damned and stuff like those books that i well, I have Bacon of the Dam. I don't have Small Shadows anymore, but 
those books revolve around a cult. <laughs> Like, uh, and I never see those talked about. Uh, but yeah, uh, I feel like he has other cult books too. Am I crazy? Like, The Reddening or something is another cult book. Um, I don't know. But I always see this one talked about. So I'm excited to read this one. And I'll check in later. jungle. crazy uh but I just got I will keep my sunglasses on just to <laughs> just to spare you from how crazy I look right now um I just got out of at home and oh my gosh so much Halloween I won't talk about everything in detail but I did get some stuff that I will share later but I went to a different at home than I have been going and they had out so much stuff to wear I was looking at like one aisle and then I turned it like for 20 minutes I was looking at this one aisle on one side and then I turned around and they had all this giant <laughs> Halloween stuff behind me and I was like holy shit this is amazing uh so yeah that was so cool and fun and yeah at home has Halloween not exactly all the Halloween that I want to see I want to see more of like their food stuff like the drink uh the cups and the dishes and stuff and the dishware i'm kind of waiting for uh there as well oh that was my chair uh but as for a reading update it has been 
a couple days like usual and I'm still reading Last Days by Adam Neville. This book is so long and I've been reading it like at night and stuff so it's been really really tough to get through. I'm 80% through. Um, the story wise I think it had me at the beginning of like the first half I was like okay this is getting eerie every time they interview a cult member or a former cult member like weird stuff would happen spooky stuff and I was into it and then it just kept happening and then it just kept getting like very repetitive and the same thing keeps happening with the main character keeps asking the dude that's in charge like hey what's going on you need to tell me because he found out this dude was also in the cult spoiler <laughs> so if you're gonna read this 600 page book um and then like it's still like has it he's like i'll answer your questions once you do this one thing this last thing and i was like bro i am over this i already like i'm done um <laughs> so yeah it's feeling like a like a three star for sure unless the ending is super crazy it's getting into like a lot of history stuff and I'm like, eh. but I get where the author is going with this story because it is about a cult and like the psychological effects of cults and why people join them. And like, I get where that's, I get where he's going. Okay. I got it. I got it about 400 fucking pages ago. Okay. Uh, so yeah, that's my reading update. I'm hopefully gonna be able to read at least one or two more cold books in this vlog. I am extending this because it has taken me so long to get through this one. Uh, and yeah, that is my update. I'm on my phone, so it probably looks really bad. Um, my cameras, my real cameras, not my real cameras, not charged, uh, or my battery's dead. And, uh, yeah, I just wanted to knock this out this morning, uh, get some Halloween decor hunting in. I am about to go into home goods, which is right next to my at home, uh, and see if they have out any Halloween. I have been seeing a bunch of people, looks like spooky people walking out, <laughs> just sitting here empty handed. So I don't know if that's a good sign, <laughs> uh, but I shall check in later. Okay. So I look very sweaty and hot and sweaty <laughs> already. It is literally 11 o'clock and I am... Um, sweating bullets. Uh, I was just doing a few things around the house and um, cleaning out my car and stuff. And I'm like, oh my gosh, it's like, I'm just, it's so hot already. I really hate summer. Anyways, a reading update. I did finish last days. Uh, and I, yeah, I feel like it does need, I would say, maybe... 75% of what this book is for the ending because the ending is very like epic and huge um for the most part and then it's like kind of funny I was like kind of silly and I was like okay I get the humor here uh but I don't know if it's the right place for it <laughs> uh but I did end up liking this more than where I was like when I was like at the 80% mark just because of the ending like it all made sense in the end and also like I don't know there's something like about it where I was like hmm this might be a good idea <laughs> I'm just kidding I'm I'm totally kidding <laughs> um but you know hashtag goals uh totally kidding again uh but yeah I think I'm leaning towards like a 3.5 or 4 round up to 4 like a little bit higher than uh yeah where I was before uh yeah I don't know I just um I really liked the ending and I liked the reveal and everything and it all came together nicely so I think it is worth it being so long uh to be in there um uh I did read another book uh, as well. I read The Children of Red Peak by Craig DeLui. I honestly, I forgot this was a cult book uh, until I was like, oh, what other cult books can I read for this vlog? And I googled it and it is on Everand. So I ended up listening to it. It was a very quick listen, uh, but I feel like this book had some major pacing issues for me. Like I feel like nothing really happened uh, because you're getting like them as kids in the cult in the past and then you're getting them as adults and um 
like revisiting those memories of being a kid and like the trauma and stuff I get that there's like a really psychological take of this story which I did enjoy uh, because one of the characters is a psychologist and then the other character is actually works in not quite deprogramming but doing exit interviews or like um, doing interviewing people who are in cults and stuff and I found that really interesting that you would throw yourself back into that I don't know uh, but there was some stuff with the characters where I was like what <laughs> it just didn't make sense at all um, sorry if you hear his truck I literally it's been quiet all morning and now there's a loud ass truck outside great so I'm gonna keep this very quick I think I'm giving this 2.5 stars maybe a two star I just did not like the ending of this uh, and I felt like the pacing was like way off uh, as for I want to talk about Halloween stuff very quickly I got these eyeballs which I don't know if I've shared the eyeballs yet but they're going in my garden and they glow in the dark and they were $1.99 hello and then I got this tombstone it says for rent very small bedroom neighbors are dead quiet and this was $3.99 I also got another tombstone that was like really cute uh and yeah it's tiny it says like be afraid it was like $1.99 and I put that on my desk at work to make me happy because it's horrible uh but yeah I thought these were really cutesy things to pick up and then I got a um the mirror the bat mirror you guys can probably see my messy room throughout it <laughs> uh but yeah i loved this when i saw it look at the back the back has this pumpkin like design it's so cute uh it's just adorable very very cute and it was 17 dollars. it does have this like um sparkly paint on it that does come off a bit like the shimmer paint but I'm not going to be touching it that much where I'm thinking of putting it uh and yeah I just thought it was just so dang cute I had to get it and they only had like two left um not two left they only had a like a couple where I just know they're going to be gone like um the at home where I got the scaredy cat earlier this week there's literally two, like one or two left and they have like a bunch of them uh so it just gonna go fast funny thing about this is like when I came home I was carrying the bag and I did drop it and break it but Alex fixed it and I feel like you can't even tell where he fixed it but that's just like my life recently like it's just um it's just been like you just get something and you break it you know <laughs> that's that's life for you I guess uh, I have also been watching some movies but I might save that till the end to talk about um, all of the movies and stuff because I feel like some are a bit of a spoiler that it is a cult movie well there's one in particular I feel like it's definitely spoiler so I'm gonna timestamp that out uh, to talk about movies and I do have um, a book set up. I have two more books to read for this vlog. Uh, so it is going on a lot longer than I thought it was, but you know, I'm just like, I just want to read all the cult books and I don't know when that will end. So I'm just going to kind of write it out. Uh, so we'll see. I think I'm going to read The Lair of the White Worm by Bram Stoker. I've actually never read anything else by him except for Dracula and I'm really interested in it I love this movie so much this is one of my favorite freaking babe horror movies so I'm gonna read it and watch the movie I love the movie so so much I put it on if I know people have not seen it before it's one of the movies I put on it's just so fun and very cheesy uh, I know they're remaking it soon which I'm like I hope they keep it super cheesy because it's so so good uh, but yeah I'm gonna listen to this and go to my local thrift store and see if I can find any Halloween I actually found Halloween there like a month ago so uh, fingers crossed and I shall check in later okay so it's been a couple hours uh, since I last checked in and I did finish Lair of the White Worm I hated it uh, I wish I didn't read it 
um, I, yeah, I, I don't think it ruined the movie for me, but the movie is definitely better than the book. This is one of those instances for sure. Uh, I was just like very, 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 very disappointed in this book. It does follow like that same premise of the movie. I'm like, it, it copied in the movie. No, um, the movie took out like the guts of it, I guess, and made it a story. Uh, but yeah, it's, dude, this is super racist. Like, uh, yeah, it's, it's not good. I do not recommend reading this. Uh, I almost DNF'd it. I was like, oh gosh, let me DNF this. And then I was like, it's short. Let me get through it just for the vlog. Yeah. Um, not a huge fan <laughs> of it. Uh, the movie though, the movie's really good. Um, I will say the end of the book and the movie, are, it's very, very similar. It just doesn't have as much of a wrap up. Like the book takes a while wrapping everything up and like, yeah, having like a happy ending and stuff. But yeah, I was like, why is this so incredibly racist? Great, great. So one star, wish I didn't read it. I was gonna watch the movie too, but now I'm like kind of bummed, even though the movie's really fun. Uh, uh. <laughs> um, as for the thrift store too, like kind of a bummer as well. I only saw like four Halloween things and they weren't really great. I think it was like a witch sign. There was like a happy Halloween pump, little tiny pumpkin. There was like a spider thing in a box which might be cool but I it looked really big and I was like I don't know what to do with that uh so yeah um I'm having a great day off yay <laughs> next cold book my Libby actually has the audio for and it's only seven hours long so am I going to be a lunatic and try to finish this today as well possibly uh this is the cemetery boys by heather Brewer. brewer i think this is a ya book but it's not the other cemetery boys i know there's another cemetery boys this is not it this is a cult one so i'm hoping it's good <laughs> After Lair the White Worm. Uh, I feel like this vlog started out really strong and then it's just gotten bad. <laughs> uh, and now I don't wanna, really want to read cult books <laughs> anymore. Like it's only been a couple of hours but like my my mood has shifted. I'm like ready to go on to other things now. Uh, but I'm going to read this one and I will check in later. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> jump scare. Uh, I just finished The Cemetery Boys by a Heather Brewer, Brewer uh, and this was okay. It was like a YA uh, cult, horror cult story. I do wish it had more of the supernatural elements that it kind of hinted towards in the story. You only get a little bit of it, uh, but I just kind of wanted more of that. I did really like the whole setup of the town so it's about this boy who has to move to this small town to live with his grandmother after his mom is put in a hospital and his dad has to move him there uh from denver and it's like this small town it sucks he's like this place just sucks you ever go into a small town and you're just like you know this place fucking sucks to grow up of it uh that is the vibe in this which i love i get you get that in devil's creek as well with todd kelsling i just love that angsty like fuck this place fucking you know it sucks um bored kids really strict parents and stuff like i i love that tone and it was definitely in this i do feel like the main character felt like he was like 40 years old though i was like dude you you, you do not sound young at all uh so that <laughs> took me out of the story a little bit uh but i did like the way the cult was done i thought it was really interesting and i think i'm giving it like a three star three and a half star it was like a fun little listen uh i think this is a good summer horror book as well because it takes place during summer in a small town and it sucks uh <laughs> but yeah i enjoyed this um and what a way to kind of end this vlog from like a one star to like uh you know i enjoyed it uh, i feel like the 
vlog kind of fizzled out towards the end with these books uh, where I was just like I need to be done with it today like I cannot go on reading cold books right now uh, or watching the cult movies I did have on Midsummer in the background you know vibes as I was doing stuff today um, but anyways <laughs> Movies. I said I was going to talk about some cult movies, horror cult movies that I ended up watching. I did talk about Satanic already. Um, I ended up watching, watch me just like totally blank on everything that I watched. Um, I watched The Ritual, which is on Netflix, and this is actually an Adam Neville book. And I was talking to Kitty about it on her sprints. I was like, I'm pretty sure every book Adam Neville has written has a cult in it because I talked about it, the Banquet of the Damned and the Small Shadows series, like, has a cult in it. So I'm just like, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's just the norm with that author, I guess. Um, and, uh, yeah, I really like this movie. I feel like I always forgot there was a cult in this. I always just thought it was a monster, which is a big thing in it. It is a monster. Uh, but cosmic horror and cults go hand in hand, I feel like. Like, since Cthulhu times, Cthulhu needed a cult, okay? You know, you, you gotta have the cult that worships the monster. I mean, it's just... That's just common knowledge, I feel like. Uh, but yeah, I really enjoyed this one. Uh, and the monster's really cool in it. Like, even Alex was like, I remember really liking this monster and the way it looked. Um, and then I watched The Void, speaking of another cult with a monster, Cosmic Horror. Uh, this is just like a funny movie to me. I don't know why. And it's not supposed to be. But it makes me laugh. It's like... A horror comedy I feel like <laughs> and it I think it's because this is like a low budget like independent movie that was done and you can tell like a lot of heart went into it and it's just like kind of zany and goofy and I really like the color choices in this the color coding and it is done really well and the monsters look cool and the cult you know is culting it's got everything uh, and then a movie with the spoiler that it is a, a core cult movie. So if you don't want to know, I'm just going to put like a question mark because um, I am time stamping this hopefully. <laughs> I'll put a question mark in this timestamp. So if you want to know, you can, you can click on it. If you don't want to know, you can just pass over it onto the next movie. Uh, and that is Martyrs. Uh, I, uh, <laughs> I have mixed feelings about this movie because I feel like I always forget there's a cult in it because um, it is a French extremist torture porn movie uh, and that's just what I remember of it. I'm like I don't I don't want to rewatch it ever. I did rewatch it for this vlog but it's like like I wasn't going to be taking b-roll of it or anything because it's just so traumatizing. <laughs> it's awful. Um, if you don't know the premise of this movie, it is about a girl who hunts down her captors 15 years later uh, and stuff like you don't really trust the narrator here, right? Because she's exhibiting signs of mental illness uh, and her friend also is like, Yo, I don't believe you. So it's just devastating. And then she finds out she was true. It is it is kind of like, okay, I can't stop watching once you get that part. But the whole premise is really dumb, I think, honestly. And I know I'm going to get a lot of heat for that because people love this movie. Like, I see people wear this shirt all the time. And I'm like, that movie is such a bummer. Why would you? That would be like me wearing a hostel shirt. Like a torture porn shirt. You want me? Like what <laughs> um yeah it's it's really dumb actually i think when the more i think about it i'm like it's kind of dumb i think the more interesting part is the the trauma part and um the revenge aspect to it but that's just me personally this cult part did not work for me uh and then of course midsummer the ultimate cult movie, I feel like. <laughs> the ultimate cult movie is terrifying, shot like all in daylight, horrifying. Horrifying, 
masterpiece. I absolutely love that movie. Also Ari Aster's other film Hereditary is a cult movie as well and that one is very scary. <laughs> very scary that cult is not messing around. Um, I feel like both these cults are very different but they are so scary uh, and yeah just all-time favorites of mine but let me know if you guys have any book recommendations or horror movie recommendations uh let me know also yeah the wicker man i have watched that one a couple of times i think it's hilarious i it's so so funny i think it's really funny actually which is horrible <laughs> but like when stuff is revealed in that it's really funny. I'm talking about the original one, not even the Nick Cage one, which is by itself. It's really funny too. Um, yeah, it's, it's hilarious. Uh, anyways, I'm kind of babbling about horror cult books and movies now, and you guys leave me your recommendations in the description, in the description box, in the comments down below. And yeah, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. And don't join a cult. Bye.